Hey guys, it's day 50, five, zero. I cannot believe it. Quarantine Cuisine shown us home and we're making my famous Caesar salad dressing recipe. This is for a lot of people, but I'm shouting out to Tashi in Nairobi and to Shin in the marina who've both been asking for it. Um, Tashi, I don't have any kale right now, so I'm just using little gem lettuce. Sorry about that. Anyway, I actually made this recipe weeks ago and um, I didn't post it. It's the only recipe that we filmed that I did not post. And the reason is because it's so many ingredients and I never measure this when I make it. I, I make it over and over. I've made it a thousand times, maybe 2000 times, and I never measure it. So when people ask me for the recipe, I just have to kind of guess kind of. And I didn't want to do that for you. So I measured out ingredients of what I think it is. And then I may have to tweak it a little bit, but at least we're starting from a place of measurement. Okay. This is hard for me to be, okay. So let's just, we'll start here. Okay. So I have a food processor. You could do it in a blender. If you don't have a food processor, I'm starting with, um, two, four, six cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of capers. one full tube of anchovy paste. I always try to get the tubes because, um, you know, it's a paste already. You don't have to rinse it. You don't have to chop it up. It's just pureed already. So it just makes life a lot easier. Okay. So that's one tube of that. And then we're adding um, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Okay. And the juice of one lemon. So that's probably about three tablespoons. So we'll put that in and then let's pulse this up because I want to get that garlic broken up. And I like my Caesar salad dressing very garlicky. If you don't like yours as gar that garlicky, then don't add five or six cloves of garlic. They already forgot what I put in. I think it was like six. Okay, thanks, Bart. Okay, so then we have um, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We have one tablespoon of soy sauce. So we have a lot of umami kind of flavors in here. We have three tablespoons of Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. And one heaping cup of mayonnaise. Oh. Oh, now you're paying attention, Parks. Okay. I caught his attention, finally. Okay. I don't add raw egg into mine. I never have. I don't know why. I just don't. So that's why there's no egg in here. Okay, now we're going to mix this up again. Oh, wait, before I mix it up. We're gonna put a lot of freshly ground black pepper. How much? I don't know. Probably at least a half a teaspoon. I like a lot of black pepper in my Caesar dressing. It's personal. And a lot of this whole recipe is personal. Do you like it more Dijon-y? Do you like it more lemony? Do you like it more garlicky? Do you like it more cheesy? Do you like it thick, the dressings? Do you like it really loose? It's very personal, this Caesar. Like I have a very hard time getting Caesar salad when I go out because I'm very picky about my dressing. Okay, I also put a couple dashes of Cholula hot sauce. One, two, three, four, five. Gives it just a little bit of heat. You could also put Chipotle in there, would be fun. I put a tiny bit of salt because we have the anchovies that are salty, we have the capers that are salty, the soy sauce is salty, the Worcestershire is sal salty. So I just put a, the tiniest little bit of salt. Let's grind this up again. Okay, now we're gonna start adding oil. Now, most recipes I find for Caesar salad dressing always use extra virgin olive oil. I personally find it's too heavy for me um, in Caesar salad dressing because there's so many bold flavors. So I'm using a light olive oil, okay? And we're gonna slowly drizzle it in from the top. It's gonna be noisy, but you'll see I'm just, and I have a half a cup in this um, 
measuring uh, cup. I don't know how much I'm gonna use, but I'm starting with a half a cup, so we'll go from there, okay? Okay. And I love that um, in the mini press, you can pour, I don't know if people, if you didn't realize that, there's that weird indentation on the top, and it has two tiny little holes, and it makes for, um, making perfect emulsified salad dressing because it slowly drizzles it in. So it's great. You just have to be careful to not pour too much and overflow. Isn't that awesome? Did you know that part? No. So let's look at it. Okay, so here's the consistency right now. I kind of like that consistency. Let me taste it. <laughs> Just say <saying. laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm adding a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Are you done with the oil? No. Oh, you're not, okay. No, but it's like know. the flavors are yeah, so yeah. great. Okay, so I just put a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. That's gonna thicken it up, right, a lot. So we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil. I don't have my glasses on, please. Here. No, I'm good, I'm good. Um, it's about... Okay, and now let's check it out again. I'm not going to double dip. I don't want people to freak out, even though it's my house. Okay, do the right thing. It's so good. <clears throat> it's so good okay so listen you guys if you do what I just did that's pretty much my Caesar dressing and you're gonna love it um, I had some water here I didn't use it but if it gets too thick I add just a little bit of water at the end to thin it out so if you like um, you know a thicker dressing great if you want it a little bit thinner you can add some water okay so we'll just leave this here for a minute and how and much oil did you end up using? A quarter of a cup? I used a quarter, a quarter cup of oil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, yeah. So that's the measurement. Yeah, Perfect. so, I mean, you guys know how to toss a salad, right? But I'll just show you, just in case. Phew, I'm glad I got this one off my plate. This has been, like, haunting me for a while. Okay. So basically, um, well, you, you know, there is a little bit of a procedure to what I do here. So let me show you. I put some black pepper on my lettuce to start. I put a little bit of flaky Malden sea salt. Okay, so I do get that extra salt at the end, but I like that crispy crunch, right? Um, we're not gonna put any croutons in this because we're trying to not eat carbs when we can. Um, and then really the only difference, and then I'll add a little bit of Parmesan cheese for garnish. Um, if I was using kale for this, I, a lot of times I just do a kale Caesar salad and literally people who will not eat kale, if you pay them, will eat my kale Caesar salad and say it's the best thing they've ever had. Like no joke, right? Um, so, but a lot of times I combine my kale and my little gem. I love the little gem lettuce. I think it's great. Um, I combine the two so it's not so kale heavy, but when I do use kale, I, um, I massage it. I basically cut it up into a chiffonade. I massage it with my hands that are clean or with gloves. Then I put it in a salad spinner. Then I you know, get all the water out. And then when I put it in my bowl, I put a tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil on my lettuce, on, on just the kale, not this, 
just to soften it up a little bit and then I add the dressing. Hmm. Okay? Yeah. So that's it. I know you guys have been waiting a while for this. I'm sorry for the delay. I didn't have anchovy paste in the house for a while. Finally got a delivery and I got some. Okay, there you go. There's my kale, Caesar salad for Tosh, for Shin, for Chelsea, for Miley, for Rob, for me, for you. Thanks for watching. You can do it.